Hey, welcome back to the shop. I'm Dan and this is where I work on my model airplanes. I build, maintain, and sometimes repair them right here. I just wanted to shoot a real quick shot here to kind of show you. This is the workbench right now. And uh, the workbench, uh, other than the cup of coffee on the end there, uh, the message here is that building model airplanes can be kind of a messy process. You use a lot of tools and they're all on the table at the same time and you often need them in progression. So it's like, okay, I wanna clean this up and put it away, but oh, I'm gonna need that in five seconds. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna get this cleaned up here and then we'll go ahead and get started for today. But I just wanted to give you a brief, just this is the kind of mess that you can make building model airplanes, but I'll tell you what, it's all a lot of fun. Alrighty, I'm back. I I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. I, it doesn't really look like it very much because we still have a lot of stuff we need to keep around here. See, like all these clamps right here, I want to keep those around because I'm going to end up using them here pretty quick. And uh, at, at this point, what I wanted to do is just kind of walk you through where we are with the structure of this uh, wing. Um, for the most part, I've got this one pretty much topside everything I want to do at this point. The only thing that needs to be done in addition to all the parts that I put on it is there's a piece of sheeting that's going to go on here. Uh, it's a 1 16th sheeting that'll go from the front and it's going to be on the top and on the bottom. I'm going to hold off on doing that. I want to put that on probably last after I get the wing fully put together. This is one half wing panel right here. The other half is going to get built on from this point forward. I mean, going out to there. So if I had the table to do it, I would be uh, making it go all the way out like that. But I don't have that kind of table. Um, not with this much metal that I need to have under it to do my magnet building. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this off of the table next. And uh, there's a couple things that need to be done. It has a couple of spars underneath here, which are empty at this point. Uh, one goes right here and one goes right there. And then this sheeting that's on the trailing edge here, there's a piece that needs to go on the underside. I'm gonna get that put on there. And once those parts are done, uh, I'll be able to flip this thing around and I'll go ahead and hang the wing off of that end of the table down there. And I'll go ahead and build the second piece. But just wanted to quickly walk you through some of the parts. Well, this looks really bright for some reason. I'm gonna see if I can tone it down a wee bit. Make it look like a, there we go, not so washed out. Okay, let's go over this really quick. Um, once again, these were the basic ribs that we started with. Uh, these are the main spars. This is a, these are made of spruce, which are a heavier duty wood. And there's some parts in here that have been added, um, mainly here. These are called shear webs. What these do is they add a ton of lateral strength to this uh, airplane wing. So it will keep it from flexing uh, probably both ways. And you always set the grain up and down in them. That's very important. And like this one right here, you can see how the grain goes from the bottom of the wing to the top. And that provides a lot of strength as far as keeping the wing from bending. And then as we come down here, this is the joiner. And this thing here was the part that kind of gave me a little bit of a headache because I needed to figure out how to get it in there. I wanted to have it mated perfectly to this spar because this is vital. This part here is really what keeps the wing from folding while it's in the air. Having this and this as a joiner of these two halves, these two massive halves of wing, one that's going to go over here. And um, so I had to figure out how to get that in there. And that meant basically taking these three, um, this one, this one, and this one, these three ribs. I had them mounted into the system all ready to go. Turns out I needed to cut them all the way back out in order to get this piece in place and then glue them back on. That was the only real hang up back here. It wasn't that big of a deal, but you know, it's one of those things you try to think of ahead of time and it just doesn't come to you until after you've already built part of it and have to remove it. And then finally, these big blocks here needed to be trimmed up so that they fit in here. This is going to be where a uh, tie down screw is going to go in the wing. So it'll actually pass through there and they put this big block of wood. I mean, if you look at it, it is a massive block of wood. 
And the idea is, is you'll be able to tighten a screw down to it and it will hold it there. And this block of wood will resist crunching over time. And it will also keep the um, wing mounted firmly. It's not gonna pop out of it or anything like that. There's also one back here, but it's underneath this trailing edge. You can't see it at this point. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and take this wing off of the table and flip it over. The wing panel has been removed from the table and it was a little bit of a struggle. Um, you can see that the wax paper, with some of those super glues that we use, uh, even though we're using wax paper to resist uh, sticking to it, sometimes it could still stick to it a little bit. I think it's because uh, super glue, when it heat, heats up, well, what it does is when it cures, it heats up and I think the heat almost wicks a little bit into the wax paper and damages it. So right now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get those spars in the bottom of this wing that I was telling you about. There's one that's going to go here, one that's going to go here, and then I'll put the trailing edge, the sheeting that goes on the bottom one. Uh, I'll get that one in place and then I'm going to take this plan and flip it around so that I could uh, set this wing panel which is fairly complete and then we'll lay out the new panel right in the same spot where this was and just connect them both together right on the same table. That's going to be my next uh, step here. So uh, when I come back, hopefully we'll be pretty well underway on that. Welcome back. And uh, at this point, I've got the wing reset to the table so that we can start building the second wing panel. Let me go ahead and walk you through what I've uh, got so far here. All right, so what I've done is, let's see, this is where we'll be building the second wing panel. Uh, so we'll be putting all the ribs right back into spot here. This is the joiner that joins into the panel we've already built. And uh, pretty much everything is ready to go. See how I needed more table than I had in order to make this? It's true. You can see it right there. Did want to point out one thing right here. This is kind of hard to see on the film, but it's a lot more evident in real life here. Let me grab a straight edge so I could show you. This is an imperfection. Uh, and I, I guess the point I want to make here is that not when you're putting together a bunch of imperfect materials like wood and other things like that that are by nature going to be very crooked and so forth. See what happened here? This particular rib, when I had to cut it to make room for this, uh, to make room for this uh, joiner here, when I reset it back in there, you could see it's got some wow to it. What I mean is this is not perfectly perpendicular from the brace out to the end here. So what that means overall is this rib is not perfect. It's a little bit crooked there. You can really see it right there. You can see how it's kind of ducked back in right there. And then as it goes back out to the tip, whereas that one is perfectly straight, this one here is crooked toward the end. I guess what I just wanted to show you is, you know, this isn't rocket science, this is airplane science. And as far as assembly goes, that is an imperfection. Is it gonna matter in the end? Probably not. I mean, what I'm gonna do is there's gonna be, for this second wing half right here, there's gonna be another rib that's gonna come up as close to it as I can. I think what I'll do is I'll fill up this area here with that Gorilla Glue because it expands out and will fill up any gaps. I don't know if that'll make it any stronger or not, but there is so much strength in this area. There's gonna be a piece of sheeting that's gonna cover over the top of it. Um, and then it's also gonna connect it to the rest of the body here. This is gonna have the spar here. There's gonna be another rib right here. There's gonna be more support in here. So I'm not really that worried about it. Oh, in addition, once this is all done, we're gonna cover this center section here with fiberglass. So it's gonna have lots of strength in this area. So I'm not worried about this messed up rib being a problem. But I just want you to know it happens. And when it happens, don't worry about it. Most of the time, it'll be okay. But you just, you know, don't, you just don't have to worry about that kind of stuff uh, as far as making, ruining the plane at this point. There's always something you can do to kind of fix it or work around. This is my start of the second wing panel here. This is what I've done. The main thing is to get this spar put down first. So I've got the spar here. I've used the magnets to align it all the way along the spar line on the drawing. And then what we had to do is, you can see, 
this needed to go inside the brace. So what I'm going to do, or what I did rather, is I put the I put the brace. I don't know if that's working too well. I put the uh, spar inside the brace with um, Gorilla Glue. I really like Gorilla Glue on these center sections because I think it's really a strong glue and it's also going to fill up all of the imperfections in the wood and uh, so anyways that's in there right now i've got it so that the magnets are pushing in and clamping it from both sides at this point and so the next step is going to be i'm going to go i'm going to start putting some of the ribs that i could put the whole ribs into position so this would be the first one right next to that brace and i'll go ahead and get as many of them ready to go as i can all the way down here because what I'll need to do next is set the top spar and with those ribs in place it'll make it so that top spar will ride perfectly into this one and up against that one and that's the point when I can glue these down as well and clamp them across there and then after that we'll go back into the construction of the rest of the wing uh, as far as getting all those parts um, all of the ribs put in all of the secondary spars making sure everything lines up that's where I'm at at this point. It was parked out in the woods, keys still in the ignition. All the cops were buzzing from somebody's bad decision. Call everyone you know. Well, that's all that we have time for for today. But uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, boy, do I encourage you to do that because you know what? We've only got five subscribers, and like I said before, we don't have a very big interview process that we put you through. So you will be in, in at least the Elite 10 at this point. Pretty cool, huh? So yeah. Uh, anyways, hit that subscription down below, and also ring the bell. That way you'll know every time we post a new video, which is pretty important because then you won't have to keep in touch with the other five subscribers. Uh, about when that happens you won't have to remind each other it'll just come to you directly if you hit that bell pretty cool plan huh anyways we'll see you next time and uh, thanks for coming to the shop today Somebody stole a beer truck.